Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota and we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different services on their smartphones and tablets and other mobile devices. Now one of the services that we're most frequently asked to perform by our clients is the removal of the Google account lock feature on an Android device. That's something that Google enabled a few years ago to try to help to combat some of the theft and the fraud that happens these days in regards to the buying and sale of mobile devices. Now, here with me today, I have an LG V10, originally from Verizon Wireless here in the U.S., and this is a phone that a client has asked us to work on because the Google account lock is enabled on this device. So during the setup wizard, we come to this screen here, which shows that the device was reset, and we need to sign in with the Google account that was previously synced on this device. So that's what we're looking at here. If we take a peek under the battery, we'll show you what we're working with here. As we get the focus kicked in, we are working here with a VS990, so that is indeed the Verizon version of the LG V10. We're making this video, though, to show all of our clients that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from a device such as this, so that's what I'm going to do right here, right now. We're going to get the phone plugged into our computer program here, and then after we run it, it should reboot, and in just a couple minutes, we'll be able to see that the lock is actually removed from it. So, let me get that running. There we go, that'll take just a second. While that's running, I'll explain a little more about the lock if you're not familiar with it. Again, it's something that Google implemented in Android a few years ago, and basically if the phone is factory reset without first removing the Google account lock that's on it, then the phone is locked to that account after the restart and you have to sign back in with the same email and password that was on it before. So that it happens you know, hundreds of times a day all across the country and even in other countries where people either get themselves locked out of their own phone or unfortunately, like what happened to our client, he got scammed by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them about the lock that was on the phone and didn't reveal the phone's true status. So obviously when he went to contact the seller back about it, he disappeared, so we got ripped off there. But this is something that we are able to solve, as we said. The phone's rebooting here from our computer program, and we should be able to see in just a second that we can now get past that Google account screen. Let's give it one second while it starts up. Looks like it's on an initialization step here. And still just waiting for the spinning icon to go away. Come on. Plug that, don't need it anymore. Okay, there we go. So now we're at the language screen. So now we should be able to get all the way through the setup process without seeing that. Uh, that's right, the SIM card is in it. Verizon phones are a little stickly sometimes, so if we take out that SIM card, that should be able to get us through. Okay, so I'm going to boot it back up now, and then we should be able to get all the way through and see that everything's working. And you can skip ahead through the rest of the video if you want. I'd forgotten about the SIM card being in there, so that complicates things a bit. Okay, there we go. Next, skip, continue, skip. Okay, so now we're proceeding through. We're on something that says checking connection now. And we're just waiting. Now you really probably want to skip ahead if you're still following with me. <laughs> still waiting on connection. Any time now. <clears throat> Okay. 
Okay, now we're past that step. We're into something that said checking for software updates, and now we are farther along in the process. So we're still just skipping through everything to get through it as fast as we can. Now I think we're good. So it's asking us about a screen lock. We're just going to skip that. We're going to skip Google services. And there we go. So we are now at the device's regular home screen. It's now can fully be accessed, including all the settings and be used as normal. And the Google account lock has been completely removed. So if you have a Verizon LG V10 and need to get the Google account lock removed from it, we would be happy to help you out with that. So go ahead and contact us. All of our contact information will be listed right in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has everything there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that interests you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos that we're constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes no duden en contactarse con nosotros. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.